I'm Danielle Levitt. If you like to read magazines, maybe you've seen some of my photographs. That's natural. Look at me. Good, nice. Good. Start turning to the right. Stop your left one. Around a bit, yeah. That's good. The modeling. Nice. All the way around. This is Georgia. I always say that there's a reason why I was not given the gift of vocals, why that perhaps my singing voice is as hideous as it is. It's so that I wouldn't be confused as to what my plan, my life's trajectory would be, because if I could sing, I might run away to become a rock star. So a photographer is what I've become. I've never had the opportunity to really be, be convincingly a different version of myself. I'm pretty energetic and I am not shy and I'm sort of commanding and I'm fairly loud and I'm just off the cuff. When I first started out and taking pictures and working with celebrities, I was afraid of them and I was afraid to present that part of me. So I muted myself. What I finally learned you just stay consistent. I am comfortably myself now, so I engage everybody, celebrities, teenagers, politicians, it doesn't matter, I engage everybody the same. Thank God I'm not a young photographer anymore, because it was very difficult being in the headspace that I had. There were all these things I wanted to achieve. You know, I taught myself photography, so I only knew what I knew through experience. And starting out, my experience obviously was limited. I like people. I like meeting all these new people. I love how it feels. You know, it's, it's a different sort of family for me. I learn so much from that. There's so much amazing work out there, and there's so much to see and to be influenced by. I would look at books and I'd look at magazines and I liked the work of so many photographers. Some of my favorite photographs, it's just the subject alone. The way the photographers position them in a frame, the way that the colors work. Sometimes it's energy. I mean, it varies. This is our main portrait set design. Oh yeah, looking so good. Who's my stylist? My days are varied, but they're full. I've never shied away from being busy. I have a great team of people that come over and they help me. I have an office at work. My days are very full on because I take on projects. I like to work. I've started making films and documentaries, so there's all this planning, there's lots of research. Prepping a shoot, working on image editing, filing, all of these things. Shooting celebrities is different than shooting other portraits. There are parameters and there are other things when you're making that image to consider. The fact that these people have an existing personality, existing brand, for lack of a better word, existing persona, your job is to really elevate that, not perform some sort of voodoo where you change it, is a skill that it took me a long time to learn. I cannot emphasize it enough how important actual physical, like the work, the production, the, the learning how to shoot, 
from from the nerves to the, to the technique to the talent to the engagement between you and your subject. I'm just feeling like I'm starting to hit some sort of flow that feels really um, powerful, where my ability to connect with people and make images that are strong and beautiful is much more second nature. It's less less rehearsed and less forced. So I've been traveling the same airline for over 10 years. I see the same guys at work at the airport because they've been working at the airlines for over 18 years. Since I travel as much as I do and I'm back and forth to the same airports, I see all the same people week after week. We have this great rapport. I mean, they're sort of like a family. I always check in on their wives and their kids, vacations, what they're doing. I don't feel like I'm going through the chore of traveling, instead I'm going through the pleasure of traveling. It's a different experience when you have people that are excited to see you that you're excited to see. By being a portraitist, I've been able to participate and the actual Participation is what I walk away with. It affords me the opportunity to have a, just a myriad of experiences. It's brought me to all these different cities, all these different places. I'm compelled by characters, my subject's characters. That's the first thing I notice, whether it be in the way that they dress, or the way they sound, or the way they speak. Finding them, they could be anywhere. They could be on the internet, they could be on the street, they could be on a subway, they could be on a plane. They could be in my mind and you make phone calls until they become something. They say, what is it day? Is it with God you spend so many days? my mother gave me her camera and I started to take pictures. I knew at that point I wanted to become a photographer. Wait, stand up, get up. I would have all my friends come over and I would make them model for me. I liked how it felt to direct my friends, how it felt to create those images. It was fun, to, it was like an extension of dress up. I always liked getting dressed. I liked doing hair and I liked wearing outfits and playing with clothes. And then with the camera, there was a way to document it and gave you something to do. These kids are learning about themselves and they are expressing themselves. It's a very special moment where they make these determinations and they present themselves. It's like an awakening, you know, it's the first time they're experiencing the world 
and I'm always curious about how they want the world to see them, and that's what I'm documenting. no idea if I'll ever stop taking photographs. My quantity has increased rather than decreased. My project levels, the amount of projects, all that stuff keeps increasing. All right, we're done. Hey guys, we're good. All right, let's go. Okay, it's a wrap, you guys. I think we got it. Now we're done. All right, you guys are done. of a colorblind jam peace to the peace loving colorblind fan straight from a guy with a tail for a new time yo, yo i'm always yo, looking I'm for a good I'm rhyme searching my soul for fiction and fact thinking every record guy's got a contract for me and my band and my right hand man and my boys on the street with my new rap plan but deals didn't happen the rapping was rad no one got the concept in this rap i was mad twist from the pain of the plight in the night then rise from the lies with your eyes to the light it's copacetic now i'm feeling no pain rolling with the cycles of a cyclical game. Cycle. Cycle. Everything goes up and down. Cycle. Cycle. Everything goes round and round. Cycle. Cycle. Everything goes up and down. Cycle. Cycle. Everything goes round and round and round. Power to the big time hip hop hoopla. Everybody living like somebody could shoot ya. Down to the ground with a frown, my friends. Stupefying these the metaphysical. A good time being black disco old school fool With a little bit of cool We'll come on strong when the time is a good time For the funky rhythm and the stupid dope rhyme Busy boy kicking stuff that makes you go damn I must share with the family one of a kind jam The mood kinda mellow like a fellow on a cello We got busy on the bass, Pazano a cappello It's straight away cool, we're feeling no pain Rolling with the cycles of a cyclical game Cycle, cycle Everything goes up and down Cycle, cycle 